So the electrics, um, got a bypass relay with the electrics kit I've got, which is a universal electrics kit. Um, left hand side goes to the car's loom, the right hand side connects to the wires from the uh, tow bar wiring, which is standard wires, which I'll come back to um, later. Um, on the terrain, so well put together, this skin is pulled off, it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, I think uh, you have to remove the rear seats to get it out properly. I managed to get it out enough uh, to identify the wire which goes to the power socket in the boot on the right hand side here in the trunk area, uh, which is a permanent live, it's not ignition switch, it's a permanent live. Um, this uh, is the only thing you need to do behind there um, because the wiring runs from the left hand side of the light it extends across branches across the right hand light so all of your lights uh, right hand in, um, lights are along this um, this part of the loom so uh, I managed to get down behind the panel sufficiently without removing it to identify the permanent feed for the uh, for the lighter um, the power socket in the back which is this thick uh, red and white wire here that's a permanent life. So I've uh, you had to use a large scotch lock and I've uh, um, got a uh, robust uh, fused wire, which I've branched off that. Um, and that goes into the 12 volt feed um, for the relay. That needs to be a permanent live. It can't be a switched um, ignition switch live. It needs to be a permanent live, so I'm told. Uh, all the other wires, uh, there's a schematic, which I'll show a picture of. Um, for where they all go for this kit that I've got but I've uh, had to go through uh, and identify the individual wires here um, from the loom and then branch them in now I'll put up um, at the end of all of this I'll put up a uh, um, schematic of what I've found with those wires um, so you can see so This is the brown wire which is the earth here. Can't really see it on the video, let's try and turn it around. Brown wire from the car loom which is the earth uh, and that branches the white wire from this kit. Uh, you can independently earth that um, but it's actually easier. There's not that many places without creating an extra hole here uh, to do that. Um, now the, uh, the blue wire from the loom and connects to this grey wire from the, from the from the kit. That's actually a blue with a red stripe. Just two of them. Now the grey with the red stripe from the loom. Next to the brown from the uh, from the from the uh, relay, next we've got the uh, black with the green stripe from the loom, which connects to the green. I'll uh, explain what all of these are. I haven't got uh, I don't want to try and be reading another piece while I'm uh, doing this, I'll let you know what all these are. The quite thick white with the yellow stripe. Um, which I do know is the fog light, uh, it goes to the blue um, on the uh, relay wiring and the uh, quite thick uh, red with a black stripe which is a stop light goes to the red on the relay. So that's all of the, uh, I think that's all of the relay bits. Let's just check I haven't missed one. So, um, And then obviously uh, we've got the, uh, the main power loop that goes in there. Now, so I've said all of that, that just leaves uh, the yellow and the black wires. Now the black wire is the um, near side uh, uh, tail light and the yellow is the 
near side left hand indicator so I'm now going to try and dig in see where I can access those without taking this panel off uh, see if I branch those in. I don't think I'm going to need the black one. I think I can just use off the other tail light. But if I can connect it, I will. Give some extra resilience. But um, so hopefully that helps with the electrics. So I've gone in behind uh, the uh, trim plate on the rear near side uh, by the seat, running beneath the door. There's a nice big gap underneath there where I'm fitting a connector. Uh, unpick the wire in a little bit and this is a black and white wire which I've tested uh, just uh, connected in a branch off here which I'll feed into the back area and it saves me taking all that trim panel out um, at the back behind the light so I've uh, as I've shown uh, just now I've uh, gone into the wire underneath here um, for the indicator I've used uh, a piece of coat hanger and a hook on the end uh, fed it through underneath this plastic trim uh, and come out where the door um, the uh, latching hook is the latching hook uh, fed it in through there come out here uh, and then I've run the cut hanger along again uh, to the back and pulled the wire through and then I've been able to uh, Feed it, feed it down, uh, get it out through here, feed it down underneath. Then I've uh, taped it into the wire, and this is my wire here, so it gets me all the way um, back to the relay box. Right, so the wiring's now done, uh, I'll talk you through it. Um, all I've taken from the left light is the indicator, which I've taken from uh, by the uh, rear near side door, um, and that's a black and white wire. And that links into the uh, yellow wire of the relay. You'll see on the picture here I've got the tail light which is grey and black uh, which links to the black wire. I didn't trace that and route that through I've just linked the two tail lights um, onto the brown wire so I branched that onto the uh, brown wire, that black wire. Uh, so I've got uh, both tail lights uh, operating off the one side. Uh, I'm happy with that um, but you can branch the other one if you like. And then looking at the uh, the right light, um, the stop light, it's a red and black one on the loom and that links in with the red one of the relay. The tail light is grey and red um, and that links in with the brown wire on the relay. The fog light is a quite a thick wire, it's white and yellow and that links in with the blue light wire on the relay. Uh, the reverse light, not really sure what purpose that serves but that uh, is blue and red and that links in with the grey wire on the relay but that doesn't connect out the other side uh, and the indicator is a black and green wire which links, um, this is the right indicator um, black and green wire which links in with the green on the, uh, on the relay now what I found is there are two green wires um, across the, uh, the back section here um, I picked the wrong one which uh, had a very very low voltage with the indicator working and it didn't operate the trailer so I've swapped and uh, gone for the other one um, and that works absolutely fine um, in the back of the car on the right hand side here you've got 12 volt uh, power socket that's a permanent live which is what's required for the relay so I've routed that down with an inline 15 amp fuse and a holder there um, and into the relay and that, uh, that's the, the permanent power. Um, the uh, white wire coming out of the relay is to earth. I've used that into the brown wire for the, uh, for the standard earth for the lights and that works absolutely fine for me. Um, and then on the right hand side the uh, number one port is uh, the yellow wire from the trailer um, wiring which is the left indicator. Number two is the blue wire, which is the fog light. There's no number three. Number four is the green wire, which is the right indicator. Number five is the brown wire, which is the right tail. Number six is the red wire, which is the stop light. Number seven is the uh, black wire, which is the left tail light, and that goes into the trailer socket, which then, again, the white wire that comes off that needs to be earthed as well. So um, that all works for me. So. What I've done now, it's all back together. Um, 
the trailer wire and I've fed in through here it goes up there's a bung for the reverse sensors up underneath the bonnet uh, I've made an additional small hole put the wire through fed it through here which was quite easy to do if you loosen uh, this section off you can get um, get your hand in behind there and, uh, and just uh, feel it through uh, running across here this uh, section here which was for the tyre um, air fluid uh, is perfect I think for that the buzzer on this I thought might not be loud enough down here but it is it's got a built-in buzzer um, for indicators in the in the relay and that sits out the way of the uh, the floor um, cable tied it all in I'll do another bit of tidying up the wiring here but that's it so the rear bumper removed there are four bolts along the bottom. Just as they come off to prize the end of this around here. Just off. And there are two torques um, and these look like Phillips um, screw heads in there. Flathead, not the ideal tool, but that perfectly. It must be talks, but There are flight cluster sides outwards. Come out. Slides away from the car. You can see. Just sit on top of those those pieces there. Got the cups here, so it needs to slide that way. So light clusters out of the way. On both sides of the uh, wheel arch, you'll just see there are four small torches. Underneath the car, it's railed in. Two fixing holes. One up front there, and the other one is right in there behind the wheel arch liner. An absolute nightmare to line up and get in. So, what I found was if I'd had the car on axle stands as opposed to on ramps I'd have probably turned the wheel arch liner off because you just can't get it out of the way to get in, get the bolt in. So what I did was uh, secured the bolt reasonably snugly so it's just had slight movement in the front uh, bolt, hot bolt hole um, and then uh, it gave me a bit more wiggle room to try and figure this one out. But that one's in now, it's bitten on both sides so uh, just a crossbar to put in now and then tighten everything down. Fitted, a bumper back on which is really easy. The only tip for putting the bumper back on is um, when you get to these sides here, bring them back slightly and they slide forward and they, and they drag in. Um, trying to push them in from the sides when you loop them in doesn't really work. Um, that's it.